Okay. Okay, brother, what's your name? Ronald Brett. Ronald Brett. Um, where are you from? Eastside. Eastside. How much time have you gained to stay to Delaware? Uh, approximately 18 years. 18 years of your life. Um, brother, what are you doing now? Um, working for Seeds of Violence Women. Okay, what do y'all do? We, uh, my motto is identification, detection, interrupt, interfere, intervention, risk reduction, changing social norms and behaviors. When I used to come down Smyrna and see you, you told me when you get out what you were going to do. Well, I came out here, Earl, and I seen that my community was in an uprage, an uproar, and I thought that I could make a change. You know, I found out that, you know, working at Wendy's wasn't my thing, working at IHOP wasn't my thing. Giving back to my community is what I really wanted to do. So I got with Sean Allen, went to her training in uh, a couple of different other states. It's called Seize the Violence Model, Seize the Violence, Cure Violence Model. And our thing is mediating conflicts. We do outreach work. We help the young dudes, um, referrals, getting their GED, getting their work programs. But the main thing about this model is we gotta have the community, we gotta have the store owners, the business owners, we gotta have the clergy, we gotta have the councilmen, we gotta have the schools, we gotta have all these different people into this situation because the model requires the community to be part of the model. And right now, you know, my, where I do my work as on the east side, the same place where I'm from, you know, I beat these streets up for 30 years, and now it's time to get back. It's time to give back. You know, there's 10 of us on my team. We got two people on each side of town, and this is what we do. We try to change social norms and behaviors, because that's what it's about in 2014. Sir, talk, talk to me about Smyrna, some of them good guards and good people who help you get to what you went to. Anything you want to say to them people down there in Smyrna in the prison? Well, how you like me now? I'm saying... All the naysayers, I was going to go back and sell drugs. I was going to go back and destroy my community. But look where I'm at. I'm doing something positive, trying to make a difference and help my community. Because I know I'm needed right here. Is there any counselors that help you get where you at today, work with you? Yes, yeah, so it was a couple of counselors. Uh, uh, a chick named uh, April, uh, I can't remember her name. Okay. Uh, there was a couple different counselors that helped me, you know, get where I needed to go. I think that, you know, one of the main programs that kind of helped me get back into the flow of this thing that I'm doing was the IDAP program. I think that's a good program, and I think you should continue to use that program because when men come out from prison, all, they don't have nothing really to go to. Some of them don't have families. Some of them don't have no license, no social security card, no birth certificate. And I that kind of gives you all them things because when you come out here, they make sure you got all those things ready for you. So that is a good program. It's a great program. Brother, I'm proud of you. you. You're a man of your word. You came home and did what you said you was going to do. I met you back up on the block. Anything else you want to say? All I want to say, Earl, is I wish myself good luck. And the one thing that I always do, you know what that is, Earl? What's that, brother? Knowledge, comprehension, and application. Those are my words that I use for my life. Okay, thank you.